today Theo is gonna be introduced to his outdoor enclosure for the very first time. You guys are gonna see it in three, two, and dun da da da. This is Theo's giant new outdoor enclosure. He is just sitting on the top right there, munching on the carrot. Is that good, buddy? Is that yummy? Is it monkey approved? What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. I hope you all are having an amazing day so far. So guys, me and Theo have a pretty special day planned ahead of us. Isn't that right, buddy? Isn't that right? We got a special day planned ahead of us. Yeah, we got a special day. So you can see Theo is just having a great morning so far, giving me hugs, giving me kisses. But today, Theo is gonna be introduced to his outdoor enclosure for the very first time. Now, before you guys get to check out Theo's outdoor enclosure, we are gonna head inside and give him his morning bottle. So we already have the bottle pre-made and ready to go. So all we're gonna do is pop open the lid like so. Go ahead, open the microwave, stick the bottle right on in, and we're gonna only heat it up for about 30 seconds. So we're gonna click start for a minute and wait until it gets to 30 seconds. And our bottle is done. All right, guys, so what we're gonna do now is we must do the finger check. Now what the finger check is, is sticking our finger inside the bottle, swishing it around, making sure there is no hot spots so it doesn't burn little Theo's throat or tummy. And this bottle seems to be at the perfect temperature. Theo is so excited to eat right here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pop the nipple back on and feed baby Theo. So guys, Theo is getting very possessive over his bottle. He wasn't letting it go, but buddy, you wanna eat now? Oh my goodness, we have a big baby belly to fill. Look guys, he is just chowing it down. He was so hungry for his morning papa. Oh my goodness, just look at him go. So we're gonna see if Theo wants to hold his own bottle right here. So we're just gonna help him place his hands in the right position. And buddy, you gotta hold your bottle up to, to be able to drink it. Okay, you want mommy to hold it? All right, I will. And guys, look at him go. He has literally not even taken a break. He is completely chowing down on this bottle. And Theo, you're, now you're done, buddy? You want a little more? All right, guys, so I think Theo has finished his bottle. He doesn't want any more, and he just literally devoured this entire thing. But now, guys, what we are gonna do since Theo has a full belly and has eaten his morning breakfast is we are gonna head around the property and say good morning to our friends. So here we have Rufus right here. Now he is one of our ambassadors because he is a critically endangered species from Madagascar. So we are gonna share a tasty snack with these two boys right here. Oh my goodness. Okay, and Theo. Theo did not like that Rufus was hogging it, but Rufus is just chowing it down. He is sticking his tongue in there. And Theo, buddy, come join. But Theo, buddy, yeah, you gotta take some too. It's so yummy. I know that your your big brother's hogging it, but oh my goodness, this is so yummy, guys. It is all over their face. Theo, buddy, what are you doing? You got it all over your hand. So Theo has decided that he didn't want any more of this yummy pouch right here. So we're just gonna let Mr. Rufus right here finish it all. And guys, I think he's doing a great job because he is just chowing it down. He is licking it on up. It's all over his little face. It's, is that good? Is that good? Can I have some? Now guys, now that we got to say good morning to some of Theo's favorite friends here, you all get to see Theo's outdoor enclosure for the very first time. Now you probably have seen it on my brother's channel, but this is the first time that Theo is going to be introduced to this new enclosure, and you guys are gonna see it in three, two, and dun da da da. This is Theo's giant new outdoor enclosure. Now you can see it is big, it is beautiful. We got our lockouts, we got our swings, we got some of shelves, we got hanging ropes, we got branches, and we have everything set up for little baby Theo. Now we are gonna be adding a couple more shelves in here today, so Theo, I I think is a little tired and before we can let this little monster right here get to play and explore in his new enclosure we must clean it and we must make sure it is all nice and ready for this little baby so we got my mom hosing the cage down say hi mom hi so we're hosing this entire cage out making sure that it's nice and clean that there's no leaves inside and then right here we have a foamer now we have prova in here that is completely going to sanitize this entire enclosure so once my mom is done rinsing the entire enclosure we're gonna get to foaming it so we got our foamer on the hose is on we have rinsed the entire enclosure out now all we're gonna do is go on ahead and three two and all right, so you can see it is completely foaming this entire cage. We want to make sure we get the entire floor right here. Mom, do you want to take over? Yes. 
she can help out. So my mom's gonna be helping out. She's gonna be foaming this entire floor. And now what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to let this Pro Vet sit on the floor for about 15 to 20 minutes. So it can really sanitize the floor completely. You can see we have gotten this entire side right here. Now we're working on getting the back area right here. So mom, you're doing a great job. So guys, Thank once you. we're done, I will be back with you all. So we're here with Jacob. What's up guys? And he has built us some amazing shelves for Theo's new enclosure. So Jacob, you wanna you wanna show everyone the new shelves? Yep, let's show them. So all right. we have two different shelves built out of two different materials. This first one, we actually use a composite deck board, which uh -huh. is literally gonna last forever. We use stainless steel hardware that's never gonna rust. And then this one, we used a regular wood deck board. So basically how these work is, I haven't really seen any other people do this. This is kind of my own design. So we have it flat and flush on this one side. Uh -huh. So we can literally put shelves anywhere in the enclosure uh -huh. at all different levels. So Theo Jr. can be up low, he can be up high. So we have this one right here and then you can see this one is made out of wood. So we have two different materials for two different shelves. Now, this enclosure is just getting started. Now we're just kind of getting the basics in here, but for the next couple of months, we're gonna be adding more shelves, more branches, more yeah, purchase. Guys. It's gonna be incredible. So Hannah, I think, should we go set these up? Yeah, we should definitely set them up. All let's right, go. Let's do it. All right, Jacob, so show us how we're gonna secure this new shelf. Okay, so we have my mom on the inside. Mom's helping out. Thanks for helping out, mom. You're welcome. And we have our fasteners. So these are okay. new fasteners. So oh, mo wow. most of the time we actually use these fencing staples right here. Uh -huh, you see that, guys? And these fencing staples are great, but when you want to take them out and move stuff around it's a real pain so I got these new special cat claw fasteners so they All literally right. stick in just like this and we're gonna come right here on this piece and we're just gonna start drilling it on in just like this and we're just gonna kind of put it right here this part right here is actually going to grip into the wood and it's nice and secure so we have one right here yeah you see that guys it's actually holding on to the wire right there yeah so this little flat part here and these little teeth are actually gonna grip into the wood and keep it from sliding and then obviously the screw is gonna hold it in place so we've got part two right here so let's go right now just like this and then once we get nice and close we're just going to secure it like that all right mom let go all right, look All at that. All right, look at that. We have our first shelf up. We have our first shelf up. It's our looking first, great. It's looking great, our first of many. So we have this one up, and as you can see, we have two inches of screw going in here. So guys, it's not going anywhere. So we got both of our shelves in, and they came out absolutely amazing. So we have our first one right here. Number one. And then we got our second one over here. So they came out absolutely amazing. So props to Jacob. Thank you for helping me. Of course. So now what we're gonna do is since Theo is taking a nap, we're gonna make an enrichment ball. Now what we're gonna be putting in this enrichment ball is lettuce, monkey biscuits, and any yummy treats that Theo could munch on. So we are in our food prep room. We got Theo's enrichment ball right here. Now we're gonna be adding lettuce, carrots, and some monkey biscuits. So we have our lettuce already right here. So we're gonna go on ahead and start breaking it up and just shoving it on in right here. Now we don't wanna make it too small so it doesn't fall out the other side. So it's looking pretty good so far. So we're just gonna keep on going and shoving the lettuce on in here. And as we're going, we're just gonna shove a carrot in there as well. Gonna put a little more lettuce in there. And then here we have our monkey chow biscuits right here. So we're just gonna go and grab a couple pieces and put them on in there and exactly that's what we don't want to happen so we need to add a little more lettuce and then we'll be able to add our monkey biscuits all right guys so this is the moment you all have been waiting for we are finally in the enclosure the enclosure is ready for theo to run around and have a blast and theo is just looking around checking out the entire enclosure what do you think buddy do you approve so we got her enrichment ball right here with the biscuits lettuce and carrots so we're just gonna come and put her on this hammock right here, oh my goodness, guys, look at her go. She is just scaling the top of the bar right here. Oh my gosh, Theo, what are you doing, pretty girl? Okay, you want this? Look, oh my goodness, I have a yummy treat for you. Of course, Mommy brought a yummy treat. <gasps> What's in here? Look. Oh, and guys, she's already going for the carrots. She has reached for the carrots. She has it in her mouth, and he just took off, and look at him. He is just... Sitting on the top right there, munching on the carrot. Is that good, buddy? Is that yummy? Is it monkey approved? Guys, I am honestly so happy that Theo is having the time of his life right here. He is just literally bouncing off the walls of this enclosure. And do you love your enrichment <laughs> ball, little buddy? Yeah, you're munching on the carrot some more. You want to go explore more of the cage here? Come here so we can go explore more of the cage. No? Uh, okay. 
So now we're showing Theo the other side of the enclosure right here. So he's on a shelf right here. Now the shelf actually has a branch leading up to a wood panel right up here. So let's see if he is able to run up there and run around Buddy. But what'd you find? <laughs> You're eating something in there. I think Theo has a discovery in here. I'm not sure what he's found. Can you check it out, Buddy? What the heck is that? So guys, it is safe to say that Theo absolutely loves his new enclosure. He needs time to get used to it a little bit, but you can see he is just having love at first sight. Now guys, that is going to end today's video. If you all enjoyed today's video, setting up Theo's new outdoor enclosure and introducing Theo, we'll give this video a big thumbs up. And guys, I want you to comment down below what you guys think I should add to this enclosure if it needs a special touch for little baby Theo. Now guys, if you want to see more crazy animal videos with this little guy right here, well, what are you waiting for? Subscribe to my channel in the link down below.